Hi everyone, today I'm going to make my oven fried ribs. And I like to call them my mm -mm -mm oven fried ribs. And all you need is your meat. Our little secret recipe is gonna be our Duke's mayonnaise. And I have my flour, my cornstarch, and the seasonings that I'm gonna use in my batter. So I use a little garlic and black pepper. I think it's garlic and black pepper. I use some um, seasonal. And you just wanna you know, get you a good seasonal, good all purpose that has garlic and onion powder in it, a little salt and pepper, and whatever else you like to add. So it's gonna be messy, so go ahead and grab your apron. Grab your apron, honey, because this is gonna be a messy, messy project, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now if you choose to, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull off this little piece of uh, extra membrane off the back of my rib. Now that's optional, so I'm gonna pull this off first. Now once you've gotten that out the way, we're going to rub our, you just wanna coat your ribs with your mayo. So you need enough mayo to coat your ribs and I'll show you all mine once I coat mine with my mayo. And feel free to use the mustard. I use mustard too, y'all know I love my mustard, honey. But I wanna show you all how these turn out with this mayo and the flavor is off the chain. You'll see. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and blend my seasonings with my flour and my cornstarch. And you wanna coat your ribs the best that you can with your flour, okay? So however you do that, it's gonna be a little messy over here. So I'm gonna coat them and I'll come back and show you all uh, once I have them coated. Meanwhile, make sure your oven is set to 350. I have my cookie sheet here that I've oiled with some vegetable oil or you can use olive oil. My oven is ready to go, so now I just have to coat my ribs. Once they are coated, go ahead and put them in the oven and set your timer for 60 minutes. Okay guys, so my 60 minute timer went off. I pulled my rack out. I turned my ribs over and now I'm gonna set my timer for 60 more minutes because I want them nice and crispy. I also put my temperature on 375. So we went from 350 to 375 for the last 60 minutes. And I'll come back and show you all the finished product. All right, my timer went off. So I am going to cut some ribs so I can taste it for you all. Mm -hmm. Cut this cut about right here. Oh, look at that, y'all. Look at that juiciness. Do you see that? Let me go ahead and just get a piece right here. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few more before I taste it. Mm. I'll take that skin right there, honey. Mm, let me taste that. Mmm. 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 You all. Mmm. 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 These ribs are so good. My God. And they're juicy. Y'all know I had to get my sweet and ray. Excuse me. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit over there and take another bite for y'all. Yes, Lord. I mean, juicy too, honey. Thank you, Jesus. Mmm. 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 Y'all, you have got to try this. Mmm. 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 -mm. Look at that. I'm about to tear this up. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. If you try this simple and easy recipe, let me know. Mm. Look at that bone. And y'all have a wonderful blessed day. Mm -mm -mm. 